Hi everybody, this is Rosa Sharon, and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently finished Lou Over the Wall, which was a film that I had been watching in summer of this year and only recently got back to finishing it and absolutely adored it. I just, I love the, the rubber hose type of animation, even if it is in anime. And I thought, well, that's a very unique combination of a uh, very classical style of very cartoony uh, movement and uh, disregard of physics. And uh, then you have your very uh, sophisticated, um, almost true to life anime um drawing and uh, illustration, I should say. Um, the story is really quite good, honestly. I ab absolutely loved it, and voice acting was just top-notch. I recognized a lot of the voice actors because I've been watching anime since I was 13, so I thought, oh yeah, I know who that is, and I love that voice sounds familiar, and <laughs> If you're a fan of anime, then this is one you should watch, even though it's probably more geared toward a younger audience. Um, despite that, it comes with a lot of really good messages that I think many of us can take home with us and spread amongst our fellow man and make our world a little bit better because this is the type of movie that's very uplifting and charming and just fun. And the music, oh my gosh, the music is just <laughs> terrific and it's really quite funny that the premise is that mermaids are actually drawn towards music. I thought, hmm, well, there actually is truth to that. <laughs> In your legend, yeah, that, that suits legend as well. Um, I don't have any complaints about this film. I mean, it's just beautiful to look at the colors. They're so crisp and bright and vibrant. And you get to see life from a Japanese point of view, which is why I love anime because I just, I want to go to Japan so bad. <laughs> I don't really understand the language that much. I mean, I know some words. I don't know enough to be dangerous, but it has no cognates. It's, it's a very challenging language. But I'm hoping I can learn it as well as Hebrew this coming year. This is actually my 2021 resolution to learn Hebrew, Japanese, and Greek. I know a little bit of Greek and not enough to be fluent. I mean, Greek is actually probably the easiest language that I'm going to be able to learn because I already am pretty fluent in Spanish and somewhat fluent in French and a little kind of fluent in German. Not really fluent, fluent, but I know some words in German. I understand German. It's weird because um, I guess it's because English is so similar, but anyway. Um, Lou Over the Wall is just, it's one of those movies that you can walk away from feeling, you know, just empowered and uplifted and inspired and ugh, the music itself does that, but um, <clears throat> It's just this typical story <coughs> of overcoming bias and prejudice and just um, coming to acceptance as well as it's a coming of age story. It's more about um, caring about others around you, coming together as a community. I mean, there's so many good things about this film. I could barely scratch the surface on it, but two thumbs up is my rating. I absolutely love this movie. It's just, it's just such a treat, really. <laughs> and it's just spectacular, and I can't recommend it enough. It's it's probably one of my favorites. I really want it in my library. I mean, I don't have it in my library, but I wish I did. And G Kids is the one that released it, and G Kids does a really um, splendid job in, in what <clears throat> they have available and they also have titles that are more adult oriented like MFKS which MFKS I'm actually um, going to be looking at hopefully this year maybe next year it's what I've been wanting to uh, review for a long time because um, 
it evokes a lot of memories of <clears throat> my college days when I got into Dead Leaves and um, Fully Cooley. Uh, I was trying to think of the other series that's similar to that and that type of animation. I don't know if it was Tokyo Godfathers. No, Tokyo Godfathers is different. It's a different um, director or animator. Um, uh, adult themes like in Tokyo Godfathers and Perfect Blue and a lot of things that I absolutely adore <laughs> growing up. Um, another one that I really like is Paprika. Paprika is probably, oh gosh, I love Paprika. Yeah, I, I like movies that um, mess with your perception and make you think and delve into deeper, more esoteric subjects that normal people don't talk about every day. Well, I do, but because um, <laughs> I'm always thinking about the big picture, not the teeny tiny micro. I'm thinking about the macro, but um, I think about both. <laughs> It definitely helps me as a writer, and this is one that helps me, but it just gives me more inspiration. Um, <laughs> I can't, but I gotta say one more thing that um, the physics of the water, whoa, I mean, water, every time I see water, it doesn't matter what show it is, I just, I love to see water animated. This is, it's just, so difficult to animate even in 2d form and it kind of makes me wonder if they use some kind of software engine to, to help them understand the movement undulation and currents and everything that goes into how water actually works and you know the physical but i thought whoa i mean i was just that really just left me dumbfounded and <laughs> that's all i had to say Honestly, it's got my highest grade of five stars out of five. This film is just, it's tremendous. It is, yeah, I can't say anything else. And I don't want to give anything else away than what I already did. And I think I kept it at a bare minimum. I think that I didn't spoil anything for anybody who hasn't seen Lou Over the Wall. If you haven't, do. There's another film in the same um, kind of... <clears throat> style done by the same directors is called um the night is long walk on girl i think it's called the night is long walk on girl i think that's the title but i haven't seen it it's about this uh, lush <laughs> and it has a rubber hose style and i'm interested because uh walk on girl is more of a um adult oriented film and um i'm interested to see what the the story is other than the obvious of the female protagonist being a lush but <laughs> um Lou over the wall is just it's absolutely spectacular and I can't say that much more about it it's just it's a astronomically made film and has my highest accolades till next time live long prosper ciao tootsie